Picasso wasn't a genius, he wasn't born with talent, he wasn't born with art styles. He most certainly had an iconic art style because he crafted one. He most certainly was perceived as talented because he became talented. People believe that there are artists in the world who somehow made a masterpiece in their 20s and then they lost it. Then they lost it for the rest of time and they never got to their old level of skill. It was some kind of genius insight in the moment. All of that is BS. All of that is art historian bullshit that they are spitting in your face. And so in order for you to understand how to find your art style, how to craft that art style, let me show you the most important image that you can possibly see in your life. Let's take a look at the early works of Picasso. You are looking at Le Picador, the small little Picador. Don't worry if you don't know this. Nobody knows this. Why does nobody know this? Because nobody studies this. Why does nobody study this? Because it sucks. It's terrible. It's extremely ugly. Nobody fucking cares about Le Picador. Because Le Picador is not iconic. Why is it not iconic? Because Picasso didn't practice yet. He didn't become good yet. And then the first works where Picasso gains some kind of fame is the Blue Period and the Pink Period. And then as he gets older, we see those masterpieces, the Granica, that everybody knows. Everybody thinks this is an iconic art style. And how does he create that iconic art style? Why do we think it's iconic? Because he became better. He learned the building blocks of art style itself. He learned how to create something iconic. In the beginning he sucks. Then he becomes better. Then we have the Kranika. That's how it goes. And so what does that mean? Well, very simple. As you are learning the building blocks of creating an iconic art style, you gain the skills to create an iconic art style. Wow. Interesting. And so when we look at these masterpieces, these so-called talented genius works of art like the Guernica or Le Demoiselle d'Avignon, what do we see? Well, at first we think it's talent and genius, but then when we look closer and we see that he is evolving from being really bad at drawing and painting all the way to the Guernica, we start to see the patterns. We start to see that Picasso didn't create the Guernica, he stole the Guernica. He didn't create those compositional elements, he stole them from the ancient building block. If we look at the faces, we can recognize African art. If we look at the composition, we can recognize the rule of third, for example, the golden ratio. And so these master artists are not creating the golden ratio. They are stealing the golden ratio over and over and over again. Why? Because these are the building blocks of beauty. If you understand what the building blocks of beauty are, you can recreate them. You can reuse them over and over and over again. And so the genius elements of Picasso are borrowed material, borrowed from the African art style, borrowed from the ancient people. And so the moment you see that these are borrowed materials, you immediately understand like, hey, wait a minute, if I learn these materials, if I learn what the building blocks are, what he is borrowing, then I can create an art style from scratch over and over and over again. It's all about understanding the building blocks of beauty. Now you might be thinking by yourself, well, if creating an art style that is iconic, that touches the hearts of people, that naturally generates sales, is as easy as finding the building blocks and then using the building blocks. Why are we not teaching the building blocks in school? Why does not everybody understand and know the building blocks? Well, that's a very good question. And the answer is obviously because, number one, art schools don't care about you knowing the building blocks. What they care about is that you become a 95 worker that is able to do as they are told. If you are going to art schools, they will ask you about dates. When is this painting created? Absolute nonsense. Literally not a single soul in the world cares about the dates. And that is what they will ask on your piece of exam. In art schools, they talk about what art historians had to say about the painting, what art critics had to say about the painting, what the artist was thinking when he was making the painting. And nobody cares. Nobody cares about what the artist was thinking about or what the art historian was thinking about. The only reason that these professors are talking about what past professors have said about a particular artwork is in the hope that in the future there will be a professor that talks about past professors aka themselves so that they are not being forgotten 
through time. That's the only reason. What matters are the building blocks. What is beauty made of? What are the building blocks that Picasso is using and all of those other masters are using? If we understand those building blocks, we can create anything. If you would say to Picasso that professors in art schools are currently busy talking about whether or not Picasso was a misogynist instead of giving the students the building blocks of beauty, Picasso would laugh you out of the room. All of the art that you love. Every single note, musical note in your head that you cannot get out of your head, all of them is built with the building blocks of beauty. The only thing that matters is understanding those building blocks. And the moment you understand these building blocks and start creating with these building blocks, the only option, the only outcome is that you will develop your art style. The only outcome is that you will create something that is beautiful regardless of your skill level. If you have never drawn in your life, and for some reason, this is obviously a hypothetical scenario. This is not going to happen. But if you would be able to know all the building blocks and have no skill whatsoever, you would still make beauty. Skill doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is understanding these building blocks. This is how you create an art style. And so then the question becomes, how are you going to find those building blocks? How are you going to become the most iconic artist in the world? Now, just to be clear. I would never sell random stuff on my channel. I'm not one of those sellout YouTubers spitting advertisements in your face. But if I would be one of those YouTubers, I would obviously tell you that I've created a program, the artist formula, where I teach you all of this, where I have a two hour section on news banks, a system I created to find those building blocks, not only in your art style, but in everything, your marketing material, your speech, your videos, your everything. On top of that, you'll also have a community of like-minded people that are creative so that you don't have to feel like an outcast that doesn't fit into this society. Link is in the description. And so then the question becomes, how are you going to find those building blocks? How are you going to become the most iconic artist in the world? Well, let's go over the steps. This is a very easy process, a four step process that will turn you into an unstoppable force of pure beauty. Okay, step one, you go to art fairs, you go to galleries, you go to exhibitions, openings, online, any place where you can find art. And then you look at the art that is selling. Very important. People can say that they find something really beautiful, but if they do not put their money where their mouth is, their wallet where their mouth is, you don't know if they're telling the truth. And so it's very important to see what actually sells. Okay? That. In step number two, you take pictures of the best-selling art, you categorize it, you screenshot it, and you put all of that in a folder. Let me show you. So here we have, for example, a folder with particular artworks of a particular thing. So we have some art, we have a particular folder, we can put birthday names in, date of the artwork, painting, price point, everything, like mediums, whatever you want. You have some examples there so that you can visually see what it actually looks like and you want to analyze this. You want to think about it, analyze it and write down why it works well, why it resonates with you specifically, with you personally. And then after you do that hundreds of times, you start to see patterns. You start to see the same things coming up over and over and over and over again. And what are those things? Well, they are obviously building blocks. And then in step three, you want to take those building blocks and then just create whatever comes to mind. And you will see something magical happening. You will see that anything that you create is beautiful and gorgeous and gets views and people want to buy it. And, and, and the whole thing works automatically because you're using the building blocks. You are using... The, the essence of beauty. And then you go to step four, where you download my free PDF cheat sheet, where I offer tips, tricks, building blocks to help you find more building blocks, to help you create your art style at any skill level. Because here's the truth. Here's the truth, okay? You want to find art styles when you're not good yet. The better you become, the harder it becomes to find those art styles, find those building blocks, because you cannot get rid of your old bad habits check out the free pdf link is in the description that said get the hell out of here